out of my dreams Pretty eyes so wise and pristine I couldn't ask for more than the day you came to my door Open eyes cause I couldn't believe That you were right in front of me Feeling pushed right through my heart Fireworks lit right from the start Got me on cloud nine Happy 4th of July to everyone! Welcome to Mark's Adventures. We are on a new adventure today. I've got Michelle behind me. Uh, we are heading to pick up our pickup truck and load our tractor and that trailer that it is attached to to the trooper that's behind us, which Michelle is currently driving. And we are heading south to Florida. But it's gonna take us a couple days to get there. Why don't you guys join us? We're gonna be hitting a couple of campgrounds along the way and uh, looking forward to it. This is uh, the next step on our journey to moving to Florida. And uh, this is a big step because we're taking the camper down there and the camper is going to be staying down there. The trooper is going to my mom's house along with the tractor that is staying there. So we are running out of things up here to bring down south. So. Come along, join us. Let's have some fun. Hopefully we won't run into any craziness like the squirrel in the middle of the road. <laughs> the thing jumped like five feet in the air. Um, he, he wasn't leaving the road. All right, after the near miss with the squirrel, Michelle got some gas for the trooper and she is in front of me now. We're heading over to pick up the tractor and the trailer and the pickup truck. Then we're gonna go up and get the, the camper and get down the road. It is 11.50 right now. Probably not gonna be on the road till about 1.30 probably, the way we work. Anyway, all right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, we are at the pickup truck. There's the trailer and the tractor. So I gotta get all this loaded up. By the way, put new tires and rims on the trailer. Also new LED lights. And I've got these E-Tracks on here too to hold down the tractor. This wood is gonna get replaced when we get down to Florida. I just didn't have time to do it. And with the lumber prices, oh my goodness. There's our two old tires. We're gonna be taking that down with us uh, just in case we have any issues. But uh, yeah, all right, let's get this loaded up. All right, this is the first diesel fill up and I couldn't fill it up because it only went up to $175. We had another about four gallons to go, maybe five gallons. Anyway, all right, time to get to the trailer. All right, it's about five o'clock. We're all hooked up, up at the uh, storage lot right here. Michelle's in the trooper, we're getting ready to go. We got the fifth wheel hooked up. Praying for a safe trip down south. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we've been driving for about 15 minutes. We are still in Pennsylvania. We're on Route 15. And our destination, I guess, is going to be Carolina Crossroads. We've stayed there before on our way to Myrtle Beach. It's a nice campground. I called earlier and they do have spots available so um, four, it says four and a half hours so figure five and a half hours maybe to get down there it's now 518 so like around 10 30 11 o'clock we should be arriving um, so we, we'll, we'll be out of Pennsylvania here in probably about five minutes I'd say um, we just uh, we actually pick up 15 right at Gettysburg so it doesn't take too long to get into Maryland. Uh, Michelle wanted to go a little bit slower right now as she gets used to towing the other uh, the other trailer with the trooper. Um, it's going to be a long drive, so I want to make sure that she's comfortable. But uh, anyway, I'll uh, check back in in a little bit. Uh, we're coming up on Emmitsburg, Maryland, and those are the Catoctin Mountains right up ahead. I just wanted to say it's going to be kind of weird not having Michelle as my co-pilot uh, for such a long drive. She's always here with me. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of strange. It's going to be a lonely trip. We do have FRS or GMRS radios that we can talk to one another with. Um, 
Anyway, check back in later. I tell you what, guys, I will miss this because there's no mountains where we're heading. It is absolutely beautiful country up here. But it's time for a change. Check out the boat. That is a little truck towing that thing. Guys, we are coming up on Ashland, Virginia. We stopped there a couple months ago on our way down on our first trip. We grabbed some uh, dinner there. We're just going to stop and get some gas. Uh, the trooper is starting to run low on fuel. Um, I, I probably won't get any diesel unless the price is really good. Yeah, so far uh, we made it through Northern Virginia, Washington, D.C. area. There was very little traffic. Uh, I was a little concerned about traveling on 4th of July uh, afternoon and evening, uh, but so far it paid off because we usually hit four, five, six slowdowns, um, and we're well past Frederick, Fredericksburg. Uh, so that's a good thing. Now we're passing King's Dominion in Virginia right now. Ashland is probably about another five miles, maybe ten miles down the road here, and we'll get some gas for the trooper. Okay, we got our camper set up, and we ran out the sheets. Pretty much the only place open that wasn't a, a mile long line. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat something, go to bed. Good morning everyone from a beautiful day at Carolina Crossroads Campground Resort. As some of you might already know, we stayed at this campground back in the summer of 2020 and um, it's a great campground just off of 95. I will leave a link in the description below to the review that we did on this campground so you can get a little bit better idea of what it's like. Um, boy, that breeze feels nice. We got about seven hours of driving to do today. We're gonna to stop at another campground near Northern Florida. Everything seems to have held up well on the trip. So that's a good thing. Just gotta get everything disconnected and then uh, get out of here. Well, to me, this is like Groundhog Day. We've done this so many times recently, but uh, we're, we're coming up on uh, south of the border again, this time during the day. Every time that we've traveled it, it's been at night. And uh, we get to see the uh, old sombrero in all of its glory during the day. And once again, we are not stopping here. I told Michelle we've never stopped here. Maybe the next trip down, we will stop and check it out and uh, shoot some video for you guys. But here we are. We are now in South Carolina. Woohoo! One and a half more states to go. Well, actually, we we've, we've got two two states to go. There it is, south of the border. Get a nice look, guys. Yay! All right, back to driving. Guys, we've made it to our destination, but you, you got to see this. We had to come back here. Check out this vehicle. I mean, come on. Really? What the heck? The top detail what the heck? He's pretty cool. That is insane. All right, we are back in the camper and we have dinner again. We are at the North Jacksonville KOA and I will show it to you guys tomorrow morning. We're just getting ready to have dinner and go to sleep because it's been a long day uh, before I let you guys go. We're having problems with this refrigerator again. We got here and the temperatures, actually we checked it on one of our stops and the temperatures were up to 60 degrees. Thank you, Norcold. Can't you make a refrigerator that works? Um, as soon as we started driving, it started having a problem. So I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna rip this thing out and put a 12 volt compressor refrigerator in there. Um, anyway, very disappointed in this because you can't rely on it to keep your food cold. 
Good morning everyone from Southeast Georgia at the Jacksonville North KOA I think it's called in Kingsland. Uh, had an absolutely great night last night. That pizza we had for dinner was delicious. Highly recommended if you're in the area. OPS is the place it's called I think. Uh, anyway this is actually a pretty cool campground. I wish I had an opportunity to do a full review, but Michelle and I got to get out of here uh, pretty early today. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention, when we came in yesterday, um, the woman that was working in the front office, she's like, yeah, tomorrow between 8 and 10, complimentary breakfast. And you look at the, the um, sheet that they give you, and it's a full made-to-order breakfast. How awesome is that? Uh, so I'm going to go take advantage of that since it was like 90 five dollars a night for this place this is a koa holiday kind of like the place that we stayed in uh at, um Asheville, north carolina i think when we were on our way from myrtle beach to gatlinburg uh but anyway this place has a, a pool it has a water slide with the pool there's a putt putt and um let's see what else uh yeah, I mean, that, that's basically it. But anyway, the free breakfast. There's like a little restaurant on site here. Really nice general store. I'll walk up there and uh, see if I can get a little bit more video for you guys. This is one of their more expensive sites. We have a concrete pad. Not that we were utilizing it, but it was like 75 feet long. So we could fit everything into one site right here. Which is pretty cool. Of course, banana trees, palm trees very tropical feel here of course right over there I don't know if you guys can see it there's uh, cars going by that's I-95 so we're very close to 95 the noise wasn't terribly bad either tonight uh, last night as long as we had the air conditioning on um, but anyway over here is the swimming pool and water slide and they have a, a nice little playground Looks like that's Donald Duck up there on top of one of those uh, slides. They got a swing set. There's a bear over there. And around this way, the uh, public bathrooms. Now, I guess these are bathhouses. Yeah. Bathrooms and showers. So there's a quick look at the swimming pool. I was told it closes at 10 p.m. each night. Uh, we didn't get an opportunity to partake. Of course, I didn't bring my swim trunks, though. So it really wouldn't have mattered. Take a look at that. Even has a waterfall. Let's see if I can get a shot real quick of the putt-putt here. Putt-putt there. Everywhere putt-putt. Let's check out this water slide. That is awesome. Very nice pool. Okay, let's go get some breakfast. Got my orange juice here. They sell wine in here. <clears throat> Typical general store at a KOA. Oh, my waffle's ready. Check that out. Got two miniature waffles. All right, we just got back on the road. Breakfast was yummy and a welcomed free treat. And we're passing this river. You know what that means. Here we are. Florida, woohoo! <laughs> We've got two hours and 45 minutes to get to our destination. We're gonna stop at the Florida Welcome Center here shortly and uh, see if we can get a sun pass. We have driven down to Florida so many times and this is only the second time I think that we've stopped here at the Welcome Center. Yeah. It's morning, we might as well get some free orange juice if they still allow it. You know, she doesn't like orange juice. She's moving to Florida and she doesn't like oranges. <laughs> It is hot and humid down here right now. Cool. Okay. 
Ooh. Cool. Been wanting to visit this place soon. We'll have to go back to Kennedy Space Center too. We have a, yeah, I'd like to go back. All right, everyone. We've been driving for about an hour or and a half ish, and we're coming up on Ocala. This is a uh, horse country in Florida, and uh, it means we're getting close. Very beautiful country out here. And uh, can't believe how low the clouds are. It's pretty, pretty awesome. But we are in place here. This is where we are going to be spending the next couple of nights. And the camper is going to be living here until we move across the street. Got to get a lot of those trees cleared first. There's the trooper right now over there. So we're going to unhook and then Michelle and I are going to go to the store. We're going to get some lunch because we haven't eaten yet, except for that breakfast that I had. And Michelle hasn't eaten. So anyway, yeah, this looks good. It's a little bit of a, a, little bit of a struggle getting it up a, a driveway that kind of S's, but we made it. <laughs> 